Everybody, how's everyone doing on this Saturday morning? Good. Um, is everyone still adjusting to daylight savings time? Yes. Awesome. Okay. Well, um, for those that don't know who I am, my name is Mara Latori, and I am the creator of a food blog called The Funky Spork. And the whole mission of The Funky Spork is to create healthy and tasty dishes with a quirky flair. Now, I am a vegetarian, so I do emphasize on plant-based recipes, so the majority of my recipes are vegan. So with that being said, today I'm going to teach you how to make ginger teriyaki lettuce wraps. These are refreshing, they're delicious, and oh so nutritious. Um, and before I really go ahead and show you how I delve into this recipe, I'm going to go through some of the ingredients that I do have. So. For this recipe breakdown, I have got some beautiful Siberian kale. Look at this. Broccoli florets. Some romaine lettuce. And some gorgeous, gorgeous red cabbage. I've got some other produce items here that include ginger. Fresh ginger, that's it. Garlic clove. And for the sake of not having tears today, I went ahead and chopped some yellow onion. And I'll go through the different breakdowns. So one of the things that we're going to make for this ginger teriyaki, teriyaki lettuce wraps is going to be the marinade itself. So with that being said, we put some things on the side. servings, four dinner size servings or for lunch, and this is one that you can really modify the quantity, but with this being said, um, in order to make this marinade, I'm going to go ahead and use this bowl over here, and we're going to add, first add um, one tablespoon of finely chopped fresh ginger. Now since I'm going to be cooking this in two different pots, I'm going to go ahead and double that quantity. So I'm going to take my fresh ginger, and if you want to look up close, look at how I chop the ginger. It's somewhere between the sides, of, give or take, like a kernel corn. To me, that works out quite well. So I'm going to go ahead and add two tablespoons of ginger. And now I have some of my dry ingredients here for this marinade, and I want to go over them. I'm going to be adding three tablespoons of brown sugar. I will fix it. Um, one, two, two tablespoons of chili paste, three tablespoons of low sodium sauce. Um, I want to give a disclaimer for anyone with allergies. This does contain soy, so whether you have an allergy to soy or you don't consume soy, you can always do a one-to-one -one replacement with coconut aminos. So let me go ahead and start pouring these ingredients in. So let's start with the sodium, low sodium soy sauce. Seems like a So as I said, I'm doubling this recipe quantity. So I'm going to just go ahead and add six tablespoons. And I will say this. I am notorious for eyeballing recipes. So the fun challenge in this recipe was stopping to figure out how I actually went and measured everything, but it worked out quite well. Now the next thing I'm going to go ahead and add is the chili paste to this. Now if you're a little sensitive to this spicy sauce, you can add one tablespoon. You don't have to add the chili paste if you don't want to, but I think it gives it a really nice flavor. So I'm going to just go ahead and add two more tablespoons to this. And then, what's a teriyaki sauce without a little sweetness to it? So what 
I'm going to go ahead and do is, I'm going to go ahead and add three tablespoons of brown sugar. Now this is a light brown sugar. That's you can find anything. No worries. You should be able to find brown sugar at most grocery stores. Um, I'm not quite sure. It's here at the farmer's market, but you know, no worries. So is everyone enjoying their Saturday so far? Good, good, good. serving, but since I'm doubling this, I added eight cloves, and as you see, I chopped that up, and it's a little bit, how did I chop it up? Do you want to see? Okay, yeah, yeah, let me go ahead and pull a piece of garlic. No, 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 you're fine. So, oh, here we go. So what I do is, I'll, I'll give you a quick little demo on how I do it. So you take this garlic clove, and this is a trick that my mother taught me. You take this. And you know, I'm just going to throw a little garlic because garlic, does it hurt anyone? Nah. Okay. So this is the trick that my mom taught me is you take your garlic, pay attention, and then you take your knife, and I was just chopping some other produce, but this is very clean otherwise. And I like to lay my knife parallel so it lies over the garlic. And I'm going to just have it, the blade away from me, you know, for safety purposes. You're far enough that this blade's not going to hurt you. And then, say you had a frustrating day at work or you're just... You need a way to calm yourself down. You take your handle. It's almost, you're going to use that force as if you were knocking on a door. And you know why I do that? Because it naturally takes off the shell. So that's what we're doing. So then what I do is, after I do that, not only does it, it's an easy way to take off the shell, because I find personally that it can be a little bit cumbersome to remove the shell from raw garlic unless you're roasting it. So that's a really quick trick. And then another thing that you're doing is, it already starts to break apart the garlic, so all those juices inside and those aromatics are starting to come out. So I just take it, and then with my knife point in this direction, you know, it just depends on how small you want your pieces to be, but... Fine. So that's how I do it. Everyone has a different way, but this is what works for me. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back in the mixture. Alright, so for the sake of saving time, one of the um, steps for this particular recipe is to make sure that you take your broccoli. If you have a whole head of broccoli, you want to make sure that you're chopping it into florets this size. So we already saved time and we did it, but just keep this visualization here. You see this Facebook? Put a like if you see this. Okay. <laughs> and then I'm going to put all the lettuce over here. It is all good. And then the kale, this beautiful kale, if you can see this, I chopped it until it's coarsely about the size. We're going to wind up cooking it so it's going to shrink down in size. And that's 110% okay. But 
and I'll go ahead and do a little play-by-play -play about how I wound up on oh, cutting it down. So I'll take what? Is two leaves good? You guys can see two leaves? You ladies? I'll show you right now. So, take my knife and I slice it until it's about a little less than an inch in thickness. Very easy. And then the stem, I don't use. There's no benefit to me. But if you can, try to compost your vegetables. So I have a little compost. I'm going to take the peel again. And I'm going to chop it in the opposite direction. And I'm going to have pieces that are roughly about half an inch to an inch in size. I'm not really measuring the dimension, but that's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and take that kale and I'm going to put it back here. All right, so one of the other things that I did was I mentioned that I took some cabbage. There's not a way, right? And I wound up chopping it into it was about this many. There's only a way like to do it on the These are very adorable pieces of cabbage. Usually I see them a lot larger at the grocery store, but I'll show you how I wound up chopping this out. So you take it, see, I'm kind of peel it. You want to come up close? Isn't it cute? It's adorable. So this is what I wound up doing. As I said, everyone has their own technique of doing things. Be very careful. Always be careful when you're handling vegetables. Facebook, I hope you can hear me. Next time I'm going to invest in a microphone. How are you doing today, ma'am? I hope you're hungry, and I hope you're enjoying the Saturday. I'm showing people how to cook a nice, tasty meal. So we're going to take our adorable cabbage. We're going to go ahead and slice it up. And then look at this. Mother Nature just has a way of creating art in itself. Can we just stop and admire this? Yeah, I know. It brings me to tears. It brings me to tears. So we're just going to go ahead and continue slicing this up because cabbage is good for you. And this is locally grown. very intrigued. I know my fiance, he's equally intrigued. He's the lucky one that gets a good year. He's my guinea pig. Everyone yeah. needs a guinea pig in their life, whether it's your kids, your neighbor, your, your co-workers. You know, who here likes to cook? That's one of the biggest questions. Who here likes to eat food? Okay, that works. Thank you. Who likes vegetables? Okay, believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> when I grew up, I hated vegetables. I, I just I was the kind of person that if I had to choose when I was younger between like a bowl of broccoli and the bowl of cookies, I went for the bowl of cookies. But then as I grew older and just wanted to become more serious about my health, I don't know, I just feel like your taste buds kind of change as you get older. And I just, ha I am at this point now where I crave kale, I crave lettuce. Um, who here likes, if you like vegetables, please give me a thumbs up or a heart. And give me a shout out what your favorite vegetable is, Facebook. Oh, I'm doing a Facebook live stream right now. Yeah, I'm not crazy. Well, I am. Am I crazy, Caitlin? She used to live with me. I don't want to have a spot. She did. So if you ever have a yeah, yes, she did. She's a fantastic cook. I don't want to put Caitlin on the spot, but you name it, she can cook it. She is the kind of person that if you lay four random ingredients in front of her, I guess I'll say like Iron Chef. I don't know, have you ever seen that show before? I, yeah, you just have all sorts of random ingredients and you have to figure out, oh, how do you throw all these things together? Well, anyway, we went ahead and chopped this cabbage quite well. So they they raised money to give the person to the side. So now the next phase of this recipe is the 
it's a cooking thing. It's going to smell really good really soon, so fair warning. Now I have two induction burners, just for the sake that I brought my kitchen here, but whether you have an induction burner or your regular stove tech burner, we're going to go ahead and turn each of these bad boys on. No, I'm done with that. we're going to change this. So basically, essentially, what you're going to do is, you're going to put this on um, medium-high. And what medium-high looks like for every stove is different, but can you all kind of imagine where that medium, medium-high is? I'm not going to put it on high, but I'd say slightly above medium. I'm going to let this heat up just for a couple seconds. And then what we're going to go ahead and do is, and the only reason why I'm using two induction burners is because I'm doubling the quantity. But once again, this recipe for teriyaki ginger lettuce wraps can do um, four servings for dinner, four dinner servings. Mm. I think they've heated up quite nicely. So now the next step is you're going to take your cooking oil, and I'm going to use this spoon. And roughly about two tablespoons. I personally really like uh, using coconut oil. I feel like it cooks really well at high temperatures, um, unlike an extra virgin olive oil. So I really enjoy using that. Does anyone have a favorite like oil preference that they like to use? Canola. Yeah. I only eat one. Sesame oil? Oh, yeah. I need to have this. That was my second too. Oh, yeah. That sounds good. How many did you have? I have seed oil and almond oil and sesame oil. You know, can you believe that I've never used hemp seed oil before? You know what? For the first time ever, I actually used avocado oil for the first time. It's delicious. I love it. It's, it's delicious. So whether you have one oil or hemp seed oil, olive oil, or coconut oil, use one of those. And you know what? If you're oil free, I know a lot of you may be oil free, that's okay. You can actually wind up using water or a, like a vegetable broth. I'd say maybe two tablespoons of vegetable broth. And that's fine. You can wine? You can use wine too. Absolutely. Yeah, I know. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to take our onion, garlic, ginger mixture, basically our roots, and just to make sure that it's hot enough, put that onion in there. It's just kind of a way to test it out. You're making two separate ones. Yeah, so I'm doing two. I don't know how many people are going to come, but yeah, essentially each just four servings. So I'm basically going to split this mixture in half. And each mix for each of the four servings, this had one small yellow onion. Oh, smell that, smell that. One small yellow onion, which comes to roughly about a cup chopped onion. Four cloves of garlic. I think it's a two tablespoons of ginger. I'm gonna do the same here. Who here likes to smell cooking onion? Me too. I just really, you know, you. You could use red onion, and I have used it for this dish, but I find that the yellow onion, if you, whether you have yellow or white onion, it works just as well. You really can't go wrong. Do you like onions? Me too. Me too. And you know, once again, onion was one of those vegetables when I was younger that I did not like. So now what I'm doing is basically I'm going to mix this all together. I should have done that earlier, but it's okay. And I'm just going to throw half of this mixture in here. Uh, but that one specifically, like, right here. Oh, that looks good, right? Pretty good. I'm gonna go this other mixture in here. It's just... Put my dog somewhere. Yeah. That's a strong smell, though. Yeah, I'm gonna let this cook down. I say no longer than about two minutes. We're just trying to get this to become a little bit translucent. That's really all we're trying to do. Yes, please take some. Please, please, please. So, folks, I'm going to add this. 
just just a tiny bit more. You're gonna think I'm crazy, but I'm not. Just a pinch more, because I technically said two tablespoons, but I only use one. But I think a tablespoon and a half is just fine. It really is. Do you think it's fine, Caitlin? So, while I'm letting these things do their, while I'm letting these veggies do their thing, who here wants to hear some fun facts about onions? Are you ready to hear some facts? I don't know if you're ready for this, but I'll, okay, I'm going to go through the benefits of onion. Onions are high in vitamin C and therefore a powerful antioxidant source. They're rich in folates, which is vitamin B9 and B6, which can help the metabolism. They also help in red cell, blood cell production and nerve function. And did you also know that vitamins are rich in potassium? That's, that's some good stuff right there. And garlic. Who here likes garlic? Garlic is a power food in itself. It's rich in manganese, vitamin B6, vitamin C, selenium, and fiber. It also contains decent amounts of copper, calcium, potassium, phosphorus, iron, and vitamin B1. Did you know tell you a little bit more about garlic in a second, but come here if you want to come close. I wish you could zoom up here. You see how it's starting to turn slightly translucent? That's where you want it. That's exactly where you want it. So what I'm going to do is I lure these ever so slightly because I don't want them to burn. And now I'm going to take my beautiful, beautiful broccoli. Who here likes broccoli? Please tell me you all like it. Thank you. And I'm going to just take my broccoli mixture. And for this one, we're going to add roughly about um, two and a half cups, give or take. I'm definitely eyeing this, but yeah, this is going to about two and a half cups each. And just, just, let's just take a moment to admire that smell. Look how beautiful that looks. Ooh, ah. Uh. Um, does anyone have any strong opinions or stories about broccoli from their childhood that they'd like to share? I don't want to put anyone on the spot. I don't Do you have any stories from your childhood where you guys ate like broccoli on the front porch? <laughs> Down in like, eat on a high summer day. I'm, you know, no pressure. I'm not judging you if you don't. Because I don't either. But broccoli was one of those type of vegetables that I hated when I was younger. And I'm telling you, like, your taste buds really do change as you get older. I don't want to fill this too much, you could, but for now, I think that's fine. And you're probably like, oh my goodness, that is a lot of produce. Blooming, you're crazy. Right now, what I'm doing is I'm putting kale. I'm a change woman. I've seen it. No, because my son ate everything. He just, I just put it in warm and he ate it. I mean, there was I was a food eater after. when I was little, but... You know, you just put it in that's what's for supper. Yeah. He never ate anything. Not enough. He ate. I mean, he just ate. No, I just put it Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to have samples for everyone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let these cook down for about three minutes. And what that's going to do is just kind of kind of break down the kale. Kale is very fibrous. And it's just going to kind of break down those fibers and soften and steam up the broccoli and the kale. We're just going to let it do its thing. As I said, I slightly lower the heat closer to medium at this point because, once again, I'm not trying to have this burn. So let me go back to talking to you about garlic while this is doing its thing. So in addition to having a load of vitamins and minerals, Garlic has medicinal qualities as well. It makes a great, great home remedy. Garlic can reduce the symptoms of a cold or flu or fever. If you want to go ahead and ingest raw garlic. So it's good for the immune system. So it's just one of those natural home remedies that people like to use. And I would say that because it is rich in the manganese and the vitamin B6 and all these minerals, it has these great properties. I'm sorry, what does it keep away? Yes, yes, it does keep bugs away. 
Garlic can also help to lower your LDL cholesterol, which is the bad cholesterol. And I want to talk to you a little bit about ginger. This beautiful ginger, if you can smell the aromatics of it, this is the small condensed piece, but there are larger pieces available at Peach Pit Farms right over there. They're right over there. They're local. They're local, based out of Lithia. He is a great ginger. Yeah, I'm excited to try it. So we're talking about these natural home remedies like broccoli. Do you know that ginger also can be a great immune booster? If you've ever felt nauseous or had a stomach ache, maybe you didn't eat something so well. You know, one of the reasons when I was growing up, my mom would tell me go drink some ginger ale because of the ginger. Ginger can be effective in combating nausea and help in reducing menstrual pain. So, ladies. That's something that if you find that you have menstrual cramps or your mother or your sister, daughter, or friend, tell them to chew on some ginger or maybe have a ginger tea. Ginger can also be a aid in reducing inflammation. Ginger contains vitamin B6, magnesium, phosphorus, zinc, folate, riboflavin, and niacin. I mean, it's a superfood. It really and truly is. It really and truly is. So we're just going to let it kind of steam in itself for a couple minutes. With this being said, I was sure to bring an oven present because unfortunately, unlike this lid, this one is very sensitive to temperatures. So I'm going to check on this one over here. It's okay. Ahead and do as well. This is heating up. That's okay. That's okay. One thing that I also brought with me were some tongs. It's still kind of reducing. We're going to continue to let it reduce for a couple more minutes. So I really want to make sure that that kale is starting to steam in itself. So if you want to come up close, start to smell that. It's beautiful. It smells absolutely wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Well, oops, run away broccoli. It's still good, I promise. And as you see, what am I wearing? Gloves. We want to make sure that we are on top of our hygiene, cooking with sensibility. Donated in your name. So we're going to let that steam down for about a minute. Now it can wrap it Yeah, you, you get that whiff of smell? Yeah, you can get out of here. Who here is hungry? If you're hungry, uh, give me a like sign or a food emoji of your choice. All right. So this is it. We're gonna let that cook down for about another minute. The point of it was just to start to break down that kale, just so it can start to break down and become a lot more fine. And as you see, the broccoli is starting to steam. If you want to come a little bit closer, not too close that you're touching it. We don't want you to be in pain. We don't want you to be in pain. So I think wait, it's been about a minute now. I would say so. This point, sorry. All right. So we're gonna keep an eye on this one over here. Oh, that was nice. It was very nice. All right, folks. At this stage here, this is looking very beautiful. Can you pass me that mirror name? Tell you, you all need a helper. Whether that's your spouse, your significant other, your daughter, your son, your child, your neighbor. I don't know if your dog can do this, but you know, if you can find one that can, it's all that matters. I kind of want to stir this. I'm also going to take a little wooden spoon. I'm going to use this one here. I'm going to kind of gently stir it. Because at this point, everything's starting to cook and steam in its own. And that's what we want. This is what we want. So now the next step is one that I'm quite excited about. Oh, can you all smell this? Look at this. The broccoli start to slowly char and roast. We're not trying to remove the color of the broccoli, though. I'll tell you that much. Okay. So I'm going to take this beautiful marinade mixture. Remember this? Let's smell it now. It's had some time to... I wish there was a way for technology, like a scratch and sniff. Can you try that? Let me know if you can. 
I'm not trying to rub this in anyone's face, but if you tuned in, I mean, I hope you're taking good notes. So we're going to take half this marinade mixture, and we're just going to slowly pour it around. It's about half give or take. You're probably like, that's not enough. Oh, yes it is. Yes it is. Oh, good. <laughs> we're just going to kind of let this continue. I love broccoli. So, if you can smell that. Oh my goodness. I think I'm becoming a little hungry myself. So now what we're going to do is we just gently stir this. We can see this. We wanted to mix this in until this marinade mixture kind of picks up that broccoli. So now at this point, we're going to go ahead and let it cover. We're going to let it cook for a couple minutes, about two to three minutes. Now my friend over here. Oh, Have a great day. Sometimes you're a dozen burner. Do you guys want to donate? Yeah. Part of the it's sliding off there. Hi. It doesn't it like me. <laughs> oh, is it sliding? You know, I wonder if the elevation might be slightly off. So if you want to keep an eye on that one. They do it every year. They've been doing so it. continue to let them do it for thing. 20 years, I think. So while it's doing its thing, oh, this is our baby here, our oh, emphasis. That, if you can uh, see some of that steam just kind of cooking into it itself, down it smells aromatic. So while that's letting, that's cooking, I want to tell you about kale. Who here likes kale? What's your favorite way to eat kale? That's good. What about you? Salad. 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 Salad.
$50. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. My fiance approved of this dish. Yeah. <laughs> you can vouch for it. So we're just going to let it cook down, really, just for about a minute. I just wanted to let it cook down for about a minute. Maybe a minute and a half, no more than two minutes. It's really, imagine you're doing a race and you're almost at that end. We're almost there, folks, so just hang tight. So we want this just until most of these liquids start to pick up the flavor. I mean, my goodness, I could eat this right now. But before, this is all, as I said, this is almost done, which is a good thing. I want to talk to you. Who here wants to hear some nutritional benefits of broccoli? First of all, did you know that broccoli is good for you? Yes. <laughs> well, broccoli can contain a serving 135% of your recommended daily intake of vitamin C. So it is very, very rich source of vitamin C. And it's also a very rich source of vitamin K, similar to kale. There's a correlation with these power greens. You can get 116% of your recommended daily intake of vitamin K. Do you know that broccoli is also rich in vitamin A, folate, potassium, phosphorus, selenium. It's also a rich and beautiful source of antioxidants. I just want to check my Okay. And it is a good source of fiber. It contains protein. I said it has antioxidants, and it is good for heart and cardiovascular health. And by the way, I didn't—I don't know if I told you this, but the broccoli comes from Peach Pit Farms over here. So if you're looking for some broccoli, I highly recommend this one. It is wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And then the kale also comes from Peach Pit Farms. So we're good. We're really good. So to me, I think I feel confident in saying that we we should have a great day. Finishing. So, the next step is to assemble these lettuce wraps. So, what we are making right now is that broccoli stir fry, that broccoli kale stir fry. Remember how we had a bunch of kale before? The beauty with kale is that it just, it reduces. Some people, if you want to, you can add more at this point, but I think this is good enough. This will suffice. So now, I'm just going to, I'm just going to go ahead and turn this off. It's done cooking. It really doesn't need to cook anymore. And I'm going to go ahead and switch off my gloves. It's just the water on the floor. You can't get Because I told you I come by. I have to I have to go. I have to go. I have to go. I have some recipe cards over here. Yeah, 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 on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. I have a pseudonym on Facebook. When are you putting the temperature? You'll see, you'll oh see. So we're at that end point where we're going to assemble everything and we're going to show you how it all comes together. Because some of you are probably wondering, okay, I see you have cabbage, but why do you have that cabbage there? Well, I'll show you as soon as I can get this tricky glove on this brown sugar. Did you I made some teriyaki marinade, and that's where the brown sugar came. Oh, this is wonderful. And then you put it in there. I did. I did. I sure did. So, what I'm going to go ahead and do now is just, I'm going to go ahead and clear some of the space here, and there's a reason why. Yeah, I think it's good to turn off. So, basically, this one's done too. Alrighty. Trusty right hand person. Everyone. 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 As I said, no matter if it's your spouse, your sibling, your parent, your best friend, your co worker that has that's two cubicles away from you. I'm not singling anyone out. Um, it's just good to have an extra set of hands. It takes a team to come together, you know. We are 
it's okay to rely on another person. Ask for help when you need it. So who here is ready for some fun and excitement? Ready? I am. Uh, I mean, as if this hasn't been. The kids just walked up. And they see that you're finishing. You guys Oh, they've been waiting for it. They've okay. So, I will warn you, this dish is a little, and I need this to be messy. A little messy. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our lettuce. So now we have this beautiful piece of romaine lettuce that we worked so hard to chop. And then we took our broccoli stir fry. And you all were probably wondering, why did you even bother chopping red cabbage? It's not because I was poor. There's a method to my madness. You just take a little bit. You see that? Ah, that makes it And it adds a beautiful, it contrasts with the broccoli. So I will say that the broccoli kind of creates, when you cook it down like this, it almost creates like a meat-like oh, texture. Yeah. yeah. So it creates like a meat-like texture, but I feel that adding the red cabbage really just does a beautiful job in adding a nice crunch. So voila, everybody. This is the final presentation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I feel bad. What do you think? Facebook. Okay. Um, so I, we're, what we're going to do now is just, um, uh, we're going to serve you all. So if you all want to get in like a little wine, um, we can do that. So for folks, um, I do have the recipe here. Um, and I am also on social media. I do run a food blog called thefunkysport.com. So all that information is on here. I am on Facebook, on Instagram, Pinterest, and YouTube. And just the World Wide Web. So please feel free to follow me. Please follow me on social media, spread the good word. And I'm posting recipes on a regular weekly basis, so stay tuned. So anyway, you've been waiting so patiently, so I'm gonna go ahead and let you try this first. Or let me know what you think. Where are you? I'm sorry. Where are you? Where are you? Yeah, Right up your alley. Hey, Maybe you can start with place here. here. Yeah. 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 Hey, mother, do you want one? Oh, okay, thanks, Caitlin. Ah. See, that's what best friends are. Okay. <laughs> okay, and then you want to end with the cute, the yeah. Yeah. You want to end with the cabbage? Okay. I don't know why you're. Oh, it loves you. Yeah, the Thanks. funky sport. Check, it's all, it's all in here. Thank you, Caitlin. So I got one. I got one for Okay, awesome. Yeah, it's in the back. And I do have yeah. utensils too. Yeah. So what do you Heck think yeah. of it? Do you like it? It's so good. Thank you. Yeah. Jefferson food already. He has yeah. 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 the first one. Babe, what? Seller, um, put some cabbage on. And he's done. Oh, no. Can you? <laughs> Boy, here you go. We made it. Yeah, right. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. I haven't mind. I haven't mind the ginger So you can actually make your wraps as big as you want them to be. And one thing I didn't mention is that this goes really, really well with some brown rice on the side or some rice. So if you like rice, oh, that's good. Or if you're watching um, your carb intake, you want to use some cauliflower rice, you can. If you want to enjoy it by itself, I found it to be really filling. So. Um, Facebook, you better be making this recipe and let me know what you think. These are a huge big broccoli, right? Yes. yes. Uh, yeah, I, I bought his broccoli. Yes. Oh, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. And did you want some flower petals on this? I think that looked really nice. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy it. You're welcome. Oh, great. I don't want you. Thank you. 
You're so welcome. Yes. I mean, I got it. Take and run. Yes. My husband's late, but told him I was going to come over here for a little bit. Oh, thank you so much for coming. I'm glad I did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So basically, you have a little salad. <laughs> yes. Uh -oh. Oh. Teamwork, everybody. Teamwork. All right. Oh, watch out, buddy. Kill me. <laughs> Give me a hug so I can go. Yes, yes, yes. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye, bye. Oh, thank you for coming. Oh, no, I wouldn't miss it. Oh, you're so good to see you. Love you too. Thank you. These little lettuce pieces are pretty small. Yeah, I can make a bigger one. Just really for presentation. I might just small, modify the size. That's good. Rivers don't pay attention. Really? I you're welcome. You're welcome. Yay. Yeah, and you're welcome. There's more. Too. Yeah, 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 subscribe. All I do is feel bad for these They can't smell. I know, right? You guys, you guys can't smell do you want what's going on here. You have enough. But it's oh, delicious. Enough. Oh, we do. It's awesome. I love you too, Ricker. Oh, hard. So it went really well. I'll tell you, I, I had such a hard time sleeping last night because I was like, so nervous. But I did a dress rehearsal. This guy is hot. Sylvia's third time having the same dish. I did the dress rehearsal. I'm just trying to share that. It's really good. I know Facebook, you guys are probably hearing me, but whatever. <laughs> Ricker's like, email me the smell. <laughs> <laughs> you want some floral petals? Oh. Yeah. Okay. We'll add some. The cabbage adds a nice little. Do you yeah. like cabbage? Is that okay? It's very good. Thank you. Um, yeah, Thank you. Very... Elaine, have you had any yet? Please come. I want to get There's plenty for everybody, There's plenty. darling. Everybody. Plenty of food here. Thank you. But yeah, let's let's Wait, talk. Come out. What you can't do during the week because you have a come down with a plan. Yeah. But the good thing is you could do it maybe after mm -hmm. work. Yeah. I'm not Espanol. Yes. I know that. And that would really help the parents. Because their their whole thing is my kids won't eat this. She knows how to go to the hospital. Yeah, let's, let's, set, let's set up the meeting. Oh, our garden's so coming awesome. in April the 14th. April the 14th. Okay. Your garden? Yeah. Our, um, we're finally getting the community garden. Oh. There you go. Got some flowers. Buen provecho. And there's yeah. some they keep it very nice. um, Do you need some? Yeah, yeah we can get some to the farmer. Mm -hmm. Have I given you one? No, I'm yeah, trying to yeah. so so <laughs> And then, babe, can you do me a favor and serve some to the farmer? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm going to share this with my farmer husband. I'm going to have that and get a good teenager. <laughs> and also, if any of you are watching your car count, this is a low carb option. Low carb option. It does have some brown sugar in it, so just be mindful of that. You can always substitute that with, um, I don't know, cane syrup. Cane syrup. Oh, yeah. Oh, from, I hear Eco Farm sells cane syrup. Oh, Eco Farms. Eco Farms, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Actually, Great. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. 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 Everybody. Whoever needs some. I'm gonna yeah, give. I want some. Yes. Yes. You want some? Oh, I'm gonna share. Yes. Thank you. Vegan. I can't. Oh, there's a, there's um. I mean, no skate. Can I take one for my friend? Yes. Absolutely. We have plenty. That was easy. It's a little um. A little messy because it has the liquid. So I do have some forks. What is this? Lettuce. You can try every Thursday. Yeah, you can do it every Thursday. Oh yeah, every Thursday. My aunt, my aunt hosts the. All right, here's number one, and let me make number two for you. No, that's why we have a. For no. Oh. For Thursday vegetarian. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. No, it's just you eat vegetarian. This one's gonna be a little skinny, but I'm sure. No, no. 
He can start by eating that character. Kind of like a taco. Yeah, it is. It's like a very healthy. You know, it just shows you that you can make something very resourceful. If you want to add peppers to this, you can. You can really just use seasonal veggies, but this is everything that I use. You are so welcome. I hope you do you like it. So you have to, you have to look at every you, single green. I no love it. That's going to be my favorite spot. Thank you. Hey. I can't eat this ramen. You want some beef? Yeah. Oh, Everybody, come try some food. Food. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm a... Oh, you know, can we make one for Mother's Garden? I want to give her some. Are we allowed to have seconds? Yeah, let me give oh, some to yeah. the farmer Very first. Oh, you see what I got left? You can even have a picture. What? No, I need a picture. That's tasty. I ate that one. And it had ginger. And I didn't yeah, mind the ginger. I don't even care. I, it I just tastes good. Like we'll watch the video and we'll make it off of her. Thank you. I have the recipe card here too. I took one. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, did it stop streaming? Uh, no, I think it's still streaming. Did you, ladies, did you want to try one? Okay, okay. Okay. Here. I'll give her a slice. Yeah, will you? Mama, please. Oh, 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 that was that was so oh, that's good. Even the ginger. Oh, the food was good. You liked it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. good. Taste it I think if I have some more, I'll... Let me, let me serve everyone else first, and if I have Aries. some more left... No, I'm giving it for me. Oh, okay, sure, sure, fine. sure. Can I grab one for my mom? Yeah. That's yes. for me right there. Jeff said that's for your mom. Hi, would you like okay. to try some? Okay. This is a, some ginger teriyaki lettuce wraps oh, that we made just now. Yes. Vegetarian. Yeah, a, a vegan. That's it. Vegan. This is all 100% vegan. So vegetarian and vegan, yeah. I'm trying to be like vegan. Hey, you know, one dish at a time. One recipe at a time. So hopefully this is compliant with. Um, Excuse me. For you. Oh, you like to do no vegan seed. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Are you a vendor here at the farmers market? No, ma'am. Oh, okay. I live like uh, on the other side of that apartment right there. This is my first time here. This is just so awesome. What a cool. Market. Yeah. We've got some napkins, and if you need um, pencils, I've got some too. So. Oh, yeah. Actually, this guy hand this to my girlfriend. Oh, okay. Let me know what you think. It's vegan. Oh, I wanted to help the lady to try some. Oh, did Susan? Did you yeah, I gave one to Susan. Gave one to... Okay. Here, I'll give one to you. Drink the sprinkles Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes, please go for the Oh, uh, Louise over here, the calendula, yeah. 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 Thank you so much for donating. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, let's transfer. Thank you. Yay. It's you, please take a recipe card. I'm on social media. I'm on Facebook. I have, I recently started a plant-based food oh, recipe blog, so please follow me. I'm based on Plant City, so I'm not that far. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Ah, yes. Yeah. yes. <laughs> I see what you did. Very good. That's so meta, I can't even. Deal! <laughs> <laughs> I think I got pockets. So, what are you up to for the rest of the It's going to look like. It's going to look very nice, but you know, that's exactly why I had that. Um, I say first, yeah, I'm farmer. Um, I had a bunch of shirts. We'll make two one for farmer Tim and then for the pumpkin lady. Oh, that looks, you can totally Instagram this. Or you don't have to. That, yeah, that, you gotta that try made one a whole too. line on that side. Alright, yeah, here. What? I'll give this to you to give to the farmer. Okay. And then I'll make one for you. So give me one sec. I'm gonna take a look at this place so I can get a good one. What's this? Uh, oh, shoot. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. There's still the hours. I am a local food blogger, so please feel free to follow me on social media. I specialize in plant-based recipes. They quirky. Do you want some flour pies? Sure. Come on, you need the works. You know you're here. You YOLO. Enjoy. I got some uh, utensils too. Thank you for being my last Okay. Hey, you so much fun. You have to like the
No. <laughs> Look up uh, Dr. Rhonda Patrick. Dr. Rhonda Patrick? Okay. Uh, no. She's got a great little bit that. about how she uh, went several uh, enzymes in. No, they have never called it. Broccoli. So uh, little cabbage. My parents ate it. Uh, Brussels sprouts. Thank you. <laughs> Brussels sprouts and. Something else and something else that um, it all helps with tel uh, telomere damage. Oh, okay. That's really good. Which helps your incidence of cancer. Also helps you uh, age a little slower. Can you do me a favor? Will you write that down? Anything that's good. Set the name down. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'll try to figure out what. Oh, she also. Oh, so good. So good. Really nice heat to it. Thank you. Thank you. Don't. Do you have a tag on the screen? Yeah. Um, hashtag the funky sport. Funky sport. Yeah, but if you find at the funky sport, that's that's me. So. Awesome. Perfect. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you again. Have a great day. Bring it. Congratulations. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> oh my gosh, is that a safety clip around Saturn? Mm -hmm. That is so cool. Thank you. I love that. Oh, no, oh, no wind. I saw that. Oh, yeah, no, it's, it's good. We're good, we're good. You want one, baby? Sure. Yeah, you know how to make it. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, I'll make one for you. Thank you. It's my, you, my right hand man, my fiance. Very nice. He is such a team player that he woke up at 6 a.m. with me. <laughs> I'm crazy awesome. in the whole thing. Really cool. And now we all need that. You know what? I think I might have some more free to have some of this. I did not expect that to be straight. Do you like it though? Yeah, like, oh, yeah. thank you! Oh, yeah. It's, oh, yeah. Do you have some is. brown oh, sugar in it? Brown sugar. Did you try any now? No, I haven't tried any. What's in that size of the gold? I'm so rude. I am so rude. Do you want to eat flour? I'm not rude. I'm not rude. I'm not rude. I'm not rude. No pressure, I mean, you don't have to. You do what you want to do. You're empowered. She does, um, is it, you said most, is it plant, just plant based or mostly vegan? Um, mostly vegan, I'm vegetarian, but I'd say 98% of every recipe I post is vegan. So, okay, perfect. Yeah, so it's, yeah, definitely compliant. If there's something vegetarian, I make a disclaimer if it contains eggs or anything like that. Oh, yeah. but, um, Can she read that? Dr. Rounder Patrick uh, on the Joe Rogan experience also uh, mentioned vegetables that don't tell you damage and broccoli. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It looks like your handwriting got a little excited. Would so you like to make sure. Oh, sure. Actually, I think it was... Uh, yeah. The ginger also has some nice flour in them, so I think it's going to enhance the broccoli for us. So you're basically just eating flour. Got some napkins too, so if you need any utensils, yeah. um, please feel free to take one of my recipe cards. Follow me on all those sites, Facebook, all the Facebook, the, bi the cyber world, the internet, <laughs> internet. Uh, was really good, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you. Oh, sorry. The hedgehog. Oh, me? No, Daft Punk. Um, oh, oh yes. Awesome. Yeah, thank you. It's it's still in the work. I'm a giant. Daft Punk and Electronica Outer Space. Yeah. <laughs> like we, yeah. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, so that's Daft Punk. I really like their music. Oh, yes. Yeah. So you love Tron. Yes. Yeah. 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 You do another Tron. Yeah. Yeah. That was amazing. The, uh, it's like one of my bucket list items is to, if Daft Punk ever does a show live, if they are in London, I will max out my credit card to go see. It's like one of those kind of things. Like, it's hearts in your eyes. Yeah, pretty much. Like, 
Yeah, it's like, you know, it's nice. It's nice. They're kind of weird. They don't like to do live shows. No? No. They're, they're really incognito. They're totally really shy, too. Yeah. Like, I want to be a normal person. Yeah, they are. They're incredibly shy. I don't want anyone on the road crew to know that me. Just that I'm on the road crew and I'm very highly paid. Do they always wear the hats? Do they always wear the face masks? Yeah. Coverage? They're like bucket heads. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. And that guy's amazing. He's awesome in concert. Oh my well, god. Well, at least he does shows. Yeah. Like, yeah. Go that one. Yeah. yeah. You can actually oh, yeah, go see Buckethead. Yeah. 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 He's, he's up there with freaking um, Ingbe Momsky. Yeah. Oh, yeah. no, 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 it is. Yeah. No, I think. No, no, no. I never saw Buckethead. I did see Ingbe Momsky. I've seen Ingbe a couple times. But he's an 80s dude. Maybe you don't know him. He's weird. He's an asshole in real life. I think I saw. I think I saw Buckingham with us. He has like a one man band. Okay. Literally, there's like a one man band. Like, he had like a big instrument. He was playing percussion, like bass. Yep. Just like, and like, it was crazy. Would you all be offended if I tried my own food? No, no, not at all. You should try your own food. You should try my own food. Yeah, flowers. Yeah. Yes. Facebook, Facebook, I can't believe you're still hanging out with me right now. They're 50 dollars at IKEA. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Really? We work at IKEA, and I was like, oh, I recognize the tongs. I was like, oh, that's our induction cooktop. Do you like it? Is it I awesome? Do I no. do, but this one's been acting funky. It's been really? like turning on and off. How long have you, you owned it? Literally a month. Oh, oh take, it take it back. Take it back. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, if you can days. find your receipt, that's even better. I do, I have it. Oh, yeah. Bring it back in. Say it's turning on and off, and then you either refund you or replace it. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. So you have a year. She works in returns. Yeah, you have a year. Oh, that's a criteria to do. Uh, like, no, no, but like, because I'm gonna, this will not, this is my first cooking demo ever, but this is oh, not gonna be my last. And I need reliable yeah, of course. <laughs> so I will keep that in mind. Yeah, might as well. We're here in Tampa, so well, the Tampa Terrace. Yeah. yeah. Close enough. Like, it's basically okay. straight that way, take a right and add them on. Yeah, 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 you're right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you just wipe it off with, like, you're gonna clean it anyway, and just. It will, if you know where it is, it will suck today because it's the weekend, but just for but, straight to check out. Are you here out. until it closes? No, so two? I'm not going to start. Yeah, I'm here until whenever I'm done. Okay. Yeah, so as long as you go, like, not in the middle of the day after lunch, it'll be, yeah. you might get a little more. Okay, sounds good. All right, everyone, well, cheers. No yeah. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Delicious. So Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, Should we turn it off? Yeah. Bye, Facebook. I'm turning you off. Hold on. Let's see. All right. All right, Facebook. Thank you for, you know, seeing uh, Funky Spork. No, 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 no. Do, 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 do,